If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment below letting me know what you would like to see here in the upcoming weeks on The Quick Journey. Today, I am going to share a few of my summer staples as far as my wardrobe goes. Um, I get asked a lot on Instagram about things I'm wearing and even just simple things like where'd you get that tank top? Where'd you get that dress? And I would love to share with you guys a few things that I have found that have worked really great as I am working in my home and tending to my kids in the kitchen cooking. I just love them and I buy them year after year as I need to. And so I thought I would share them with you today. And we're going to pause because our town is working on their tornado alarms. Can you hear my dogs howling? Perfect timing. I'm just gonna push through because I have limited time today and I really wanna get this video done, so I'm really sorry for the tornado sirens. Um, I have been asked so many times on Instagram about these simple tank tops that I wear. It has been difficult for me to find tank tops because I don't want my bra strap showing and I don't want them to be see-through. I don't like tank tops that are clear up here. I want to show a little bit of my collarbone um, and I just want something simple. I want something that I can throw on every single day with a pair of denim or a skirt or whatever and then also layer them and wear them under things that I need a little extra like with dresses and any other tops that I might have. So um, I have looked and bought so many tank tops. One thing that I have trouble with is if I have a white tank top, being able to see through and then feeling like I need to layer a cami under a tank top. So I found the solution for that. And another thing that I have trouble with is finding tank tops where the armholes aren't so big that you can like see your bra here or see through it or it's just saggy. So anyway, I have found the perfect staple tank top for me anyway, and it's not super expensive. I usually find them for five to $8 a piece. And at the beginning of each summer or spring season, I go and I buy the ones I need. Um, only my white ones tend to need to be replaced every year. I usually can get two seasons or two summers out of my dark colored tank tops and I almost always just stick with black and white tank tops um, because that's what I wear and I find when I pick colors I don't wear them as much because they don't go with something and black and white go with everything. So I want to show you my tank tops first. My favorite brand is from Target and it's a New Day brand. I have tried is it Urban Thread, Universal Thread, something like that. I've tried all their t-shirts, I've tried all of their tank tops, and they are all way too baggy and saggy. Um, they just don't fit me well. Maybe I'm not tall enough, I'm only 5'2", almost 5'3", so maybe they just don't fit me well, I don't know. But this is the brand I like, A New Day. It fits me perfectly. You can't, I don't know if you can see with this one, they have ribbed, tank tops. Let me get the white one. See they have a ribbed tank top. It might be too bright. Um, and then they have one that doesn't have ribbing. The thing I like about these tank tops is that they have a wide um, strap to go over your shoulder so that you don't see your bra strap. So they cover really really well. They don't have a huge armhole and I love that they're not so long that you have a bunch bunching at the bottom. Now I wear both small and extra small and I like different things about different both the sizes. I like that the small is a little bit longer in the waist so it goes a little bit lower and tucks into my pants a tad easier. What I don't like is the armhole is just a tiny bit too big for my liking. So I love the size of the armhole and the tightness of the shirt of the extra small, but do know that um, the, the extra smalls, or the smaller the size, the shorter the, the length of the shirt. And so if you are someone who likes hip pan, hipster pants and stuff like that, these probably won't work. I like mid-rise to high-rise jeans and shorts, so they work fine because they tuck in and it's no big deal. The next summer staple that I purchased at the beginning of this summer, I didn't know if I was going to love it, are these Sperry Top Cider Leather Loafers. I got these at a Dillard's Clearance 
and I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about them. They were like $150 originally and I got them for 20 or $25. And they're the most comfortable shoe I've ever owned. I wear them without socks. I've worn them all summer without socks. They are fantastic. They don't rub my feet. They are, they're just so comfortable. I think I could walk all day in these shoes. They look great. It's a really easy way to take like a simple outfit and elevate it. I wear them with a white tank top and my distressed um, denim capris or shorts. And then I put on these leather loafers and it takes my look from really simple to a bit more. So anyway, I really love them. I wear them with dresses, I wear them skirts, I wear them shorts, jeans, all the things. And I think these are gonna be shoes that I can wear and take into the fall season. I'm actually looking for other colors um, because I love them so, so much. But our Dillard's hasn't had any in stock lately. So anyway, I'm gonna keep looking and checking on that. But I just wanted to let you know, in case you've ever wondered if Sperry's are comfortable, they are so comfortable. Love these. As far as pants during the summer, I really like ankle length pants or shorts. I don't really go in between. And my favorite source for good quality denim that fits um, a womanly body better than, you know, more of a younger figure, I really love Ann Taylor Loft. I get most of my pants through Ann Taylor Loft. So I have this off-white pair and I like it because the bottom has this um, modern, just fringe detail. But it's not something that is going to look really sloppy. It looks nice, kind of a tailored fringe. And then I also have a relaxed, just light wash denim. No rips in the knees or anything. Well, actually this pair does have a rip in the knee. I have one with and one without. So this is more of a casual pair and then a distressed hem, which I really, really like. And this is a mid to high waist jean as far as the rise, and I really like it. It works really well with those tank tops that I like to wear. The next pair, this is a little bit darker of a medium, like a, a little bit darker light wash um, denim, and it does have a distressed hem, but this is the one that does not have a hole in the knee. So just a really simple um, pair of denim. I have three and that's pretty much all I wear all summer as far as pants go. Otherwise, I'm wearing dresses, which I'll show you here in a minute, or these ankle length denim pants from Ann Taylor Loft with a tank top. Like that's literally my summer wardrobe. So let's move on to the dresses and I'm gonna show you a few that I am really liking this summer. As, far as casual and comfortable, I have this navy blue dress. Um, that I love. It has pockets. I will try it on for you. And this is the Lou and Gray brand from Ann Taylor Loft. It is like butter. It just feels so good. It's um, a lightweight dress. It's so comfortable. You can wear it out and about. I love pairing it with my white Sperry's and it's just the perfect just lounge around dress that you can also wear out. So anyway, I will share this one. And then the next dress that I'm loving is, this one was from Amazon and it's too brief. It's too brief, that's the brand, I don't know. But isn't this pattern so pretty? I just think this fabric is really sweet and it has the ties. Now I'm pretty short, so I love having the tie that has an adjustable strap because I can really cinch it up. So I like to put my bows on the front. Most people have them on the top. So this is a really great dress because you can wear it whether you're tall or whether you're short like me. And at the bottom it has this really pretty little detail that I like. Um, and it, it's a good length. So anyway, I love this one and I've worn it to church. I've worn it just here at the house. It's really comfortable. I don't need a slip underneath it, but I do wear like just the skirt slip underneath just for a little extra layer. So comfortable. I also wear this dress. This is from last year from Target and I just love it. It fits really good and it's not see-through so I don't need a slip. It's really lightweight and just works really well in the summer months. I wear it to church, I wear it for a casual day at home, 
Um, you don't have to wear a tank top underneath it, but sometimes I do, and I did today. So anyway, I really love it. Um, it's a great length for me too, maybe a tad long, but I'm also really short. So anyway, you know, it works though. But I like it, and it's from Target. I'm not sure if they have it still. I'll have to look, but it's really comfortable. Guys, that is all for today. I hope that you enjoyed a look at some of my favorite summer wardrobe staples. I hope that you found something that maybe would work for you. I will try to link mo most of the items down in the description box below. I will also link to some of my other um, capsule wardrobe posts that I have on my blog. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, let me know a few of your favorite wardrobe staples for the summer. Um, I know a lot of people love blazers and layering pieces in the summer because even though it's hot outside, anytime you go inside, the air conditioner is cranked and you're always chilly. So let me know below in the comments what it is that you're loving this summer. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. tip for how to wear a white tank top or any white top without having like transparency and your undergarments show through. My biggest tip is to find a bra that matches your skin tone. Whenever you do this you don't see the difference between your bra and your skin so it just looks like one cohesive palette underneath the white top and then you won't have any show through. Whenever you wear a white bra with a white shirt, you will see where the line of the bra ends and your skin begins because they're two different colors. So I used to make this mistake all the time. I thought I was supposed to wear a white bra to match my white top and that's not the case. Just wear a nude colored bra or whatever color bra matches your skin and then you won't be able to see the line of where one stop, your skin stops or starts and the bra stops or starts. So anyway, that is my biggest tip because I do not like having to layer a cami underneath a tank top. I feel like the whole point of wearing a tank top is that I don't have a bunch of layers and I can stay cool. So doing this little trick makes it to where I don't have to layer pieces in the hot, hot summer. So anyway, I hope that helps.